What's going on YouTube? Geothenoid here. So in today's video we have an important update to the dopamine jailbreak that was just released. So if you have the dopamine jailbreak you should definitely install this update as it fixes a lot of issues. This video is brought to you by AnyUnlock, a software that allows to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM and even remove SIM lock. Definitely check the program out in the link below. So as you probably know dopamine jailbreak supports iOS 15.0 all the way up to iOS 15.4.1 on A12 and newer devices. So the iPhone XS and S Max 11, 12, 14, 13, those are supported. Well today we got a brand new update from OPA334, the main developer of the dopamine jailbreak, and this one is a version 1.1.4. Now this jailbreak is completely open source here on GitHub, it's free and open source. If you want to check out the code that you're running, you're free to do so. But here on the releases tab, if you're navigating here, now there is the update 1.1.4 with two major fixes. It says in here, quote, fix unreliability when jailbreaking on A14, 1.1.3 regression, and make fork fix only load when absolutely necessary rather than inside every single process that it is able to fork and this should decrease the spin lock panic frequency back to how it was pre 1.1 but tweaks with C function hooks will obviously still cause it also the effectiveness of this change has not been confirmed yet but at least it shouldn't make anything worse so you can get the dopamine jailbreak IPA file over here and of course sideload it with your favorite tool now of course if you're running an older version like 1.1.3 and stuff like that you should definitely update to 1.1.4 especially since it fixes the issues with the A14 devices. The fork fix thing should basically decrease the spin lock panics, so your device should reboot much less often in this case. If this is confirmed to work, you should definitely update to it right away. You can update directly from the interface of the dopamine jailbreak. There is an update section in there in the main screen of the jailbreak, so feel free to do so. Now before I sign off, there is now a jailbreak tool finder that I have created here on my website. On iDeviceCentral.com, you go here to jailbreak finder and it brings you to this tool. Here you select your favorite device, for example it could be an iPhone or it could be an iPad model or even an iPod Touch, currently only iPod Touch 7, and for that device you get to see if there are any jailbreaks available. For example for iPhone 12 Pro, if you go in here, it tells you exactly what's going on. For example, iOS 17 beta 16.6 and 16.5.1 in here are not jailbreakable at the moment and there is no exploit available. For 16.6 beta 1 and for the rest of those in here, all the way down to iOS 15.5, there is a kernel exploit available, not a jailbreak, but a kernel exploit available, which can definitely be used and it's already being used in various tools. So a jailbreak is going to come up at some point. So you should stay in this range over here. And for the older iOS versions, you can see a jailbreak is available and it's dopamine jailbreak by OPA334, the one that we just talked about. So definitely check out our jailbreak finder tool, it works with every device and it tells you if there is a jailbreak available so that you don't have to ask the question, you don't have to search for it and stuff like that. The link will be below. Thank you for watching, I'm GS Now. till the next time, peace out.